celebratory confetti blanketed the Grove on primary night, as developer Rick Caruso, then sporting a multi-point lead in the Los Angeles mayor's race, declared his to be a victory story. Across town in Highland Park, unexhausted Eunice's Hernandez had already headed home from her election night party at a local bar. Her opponent, incumbent council member Gil Cedillo, was leading by more than 10 percentage points. Hernandez remained hopeful, though some supporters had begun mourning what they thought to be a loss. But fortune can be a fickle mistress on election night. As Caruso backers danced to Hall and Oates and Hernandez supporters nursed craft beers, a steady stream of Sheriff's Department vehicles continued to arrive at a county vote tabulating facility in Downey, bearing bags of ballots. Scores of vote by mail ballots also have yet to be counted. Those initial primary night returns represented only a small fraction of the total vote and weren't indicative of broader trends. Caruso ultimately finished seven points behind Representative Karen Bass. And Hernandez ousted Cedillo, making her one of several progressive council candidates to see their positioning reversed as successive waves of ballots were counted. With the general election just a day away, it's likely that answers will remain unknown in a number of races on Tuesday night. And what's seen at 8.30 or 11 p.m. on election night may have little bearing on the final tallies. The overwhelming shift to vote by mail ballots fundamentally altered how Californians participate in elections, with voting beginning weeks before election day and ballot tabulation extending for weeks afterward. We no longer have election night. We have election season, said Minda Romero, a political sociologist and director of the USC Center for Inclusive Democracy. Final results may take days or weeks in certain high-profile races, including a handful of nail-biter congressional contests around the state and a number of competitive Democrat-on-Democrat -Democrat races in Los Angeles City and County, such as the hotly contested L. A. Mayor's race. Still, the overwhelming registration advantage that Democrats hold in California dictates that most party-line statewide races are essentially non-competitive, making some results easy to forecast before all ballots have been counted.